Booty family, it's been a minute since y'all have come to work with me. Well, come along with my team and I as we cater an African wedding. Okay, so let's pull up on Low Country Cuisine, my catering company. But before I let y'all inside, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and turn on those notifications, please and thank you. Okay, first up is the Dodo, AKA fried plantains. Don't they look so good, so delicious. Next is the mandatory jollof rice. We are sauteing our onions and a little bit of butter and vegetable oil. And then we have to add in the red pepper and onion mix that we blended up. And next we gotta season it up, okay? Starting off with some curry, some thyme, and then a dab of douya, of course. Gotta add that a dab of douya. Then we're gonna mix that all up. You know you cannot have a West African celebration without the jollof rice, okay? And y'all, this is 25 pounds of rice. We have about 180 guests that we're feeding at this wedding. So yeah, we need a lot of rice, okay? Now we have to wrap all of our food nice and secure so that we can finish cooking it at the wedding venue. And people are always talking about, it costs what? How much does it cost? Oh my gosh, I could go buy the food myself. Yeah, maybe you could, but you need a professional like Low Country Cuisine to get it there safe and secure. And here we are pulling up to the video. We're at Divine Grace Vineyards and see the team is already there. Y'all, this is such a beautiful venue right here in the DFW Metroplex. McKinney to be exact and their team the divine grace team is setting up the venue and um here's the chapel here is where the couple said their vows look at it everything's right here you have your reception space and you also have the ceremony space okay back to the food back to the food these samosas also a, a labor of love these are beef samosas handmade at low country cuisine yes uh-huh and spring rolls these are veggie spring rolls as well these are the items for the cocktail hour look at it gbd y'all remember what that means golden brown delicious comment down below if you've ever attended a african wedding celebration these are our grilled shrimp skewers put in a little suya spice on them and now it's time to plate them up and go ahead and pass them out to the guests because they are hungry they are waiting for this food and it is hot that is what i love about our team um oh here we are bringing it out to the wedding party they were so beautiful. Oh my gosh. Okay, before we finish the chicken in the oven, we're finishing it off with a little bit of a extra adabaduya. That's me in the kitchen. Uh-huh. Not at home, but at work. <laughs> okay, y'all. Um, they also had stew beef. That's what this is. We fried it, and now we are going to go ahead and toss it in the stew mixture. We're taking our jollof rice and putting it in the pans to get ready for the buffet. Didn't I tell you this wedding party was beautiful? And look at how they enter the ballroom. Hey, 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 get it, get it, get it, get it. This was my favorite couple right here. Sis took them shoes off, okay? <laughs> I feel her. Sometimes you just got to make it do what it do. Here's our couple, Batanya and David. All right, it's time to eat. Look at that dodo. Look at the fried plantain and the jollof rice, nicely garnished, our grilled chicken, and then our stew beef. The guests enjoyed the food. But of course, of course, you know, we've got to feed our bride and groom. So when they got through with their first dance, they had a hot plate of food right there waiting for them okay have you had jollof rice before let me know comment down below i don't want to get into the debate of what country makes the best jollof rice okay i'm not gonna do it i'm not gonna do it but they loved it look at those plates that's proof all right y'all i'll see y'all the next time but before i go remember to comment like and share <laughs>